chain shotguns, beers, and mushrooms. That's how you grow some strong children. Hey, Lumberjack had a growth moment. All right, child. Lumberjack, 10 years old. Let's see what he gets. Ooh, sugar happy. Sugar happy, fast learner. Nice. Ooh, we can make him the royal dwarf. Sugar happy, so good, guys. Sugar happy, so good. Three skills. We need another cook. Cooking, mining. Maybe I'll make him ascetic. I love trigger happy though. Like it's so it's so good. But I kinda I think I'm gonna make him into a royal. An ascetic would mean we wouldn't need the we still need a throne room, but I wouldn't need another bigger bedroom. And I wouldn't have to worry about royal clothing for him. And I can just make one of the bedrooms Brave garbage and he'd be so. happy with it. Well, it sucks to pass up trigger happy, but alright, I'm gonna go with ascetic. So congrats, lumberjack. Uh trigger happy to shoot all the elves. Uh, Oh, man. Iron Willed is also good for a Royal. Iron Willed is less breakdowns than a Royal. Uh, I usually do Ascetic Royal almost every single time, but it isn't as big of a deal this time. I'm going to go with Ascetic still. Is Iron Willed mood bigger than the Ascetic penalties? It's a good question, but are all the Royal penalties? Probably not if I'm also factoring in a bigger, fancier room. This is just, I don't have to worry about it. This is, I just don't have to worry about it. I don't have to set up extra clothing rules. Like, there's a lot of things where it just makes it so I d there's less that I have to worry about, so... That's fine. Inspired Taming is your best way to get a Thrumbo, yep. Yeah. Without Inspired Taming, the highest chance you're going to get on a Thrumbo is like a 2.4% or something like that. Um, now, there is another way you can tame Thrumbo, but it's dangerous for the Thrumbo. So every time you tend an animal back to health, a wild animal, they have a chance to auto-join you. So you can technically, every time you go to kill Thrumbo, if you down them and don't kill them, you can tend to them. And when you tend them back to health, you're going to have a chance for them to auto-join, but you might get permanent injuries on your Thrumbo. Another Siege. Oh, it's the Toxic. Jerks. Man, I hate oh, I hate these. We're going to have to get our cloth and stuff up. I could go ahead and pull the Siege in this time. Because it is possible they destroy those. But, man, I'm trying to get to Fabrication. We're so close. We're so close. The Siege is not dangerous to us other than the fact that they could destroy this stuff. And this. Okay, everyone's in. We're really close to fabrication, and I think I'm gonna put the fabricator in this area. They can also take our power out here, which could be annoying. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Siege only target pawns and mechs. Um, I think so. I think so. So like this me this guy going down here to research or or not research to uh use the telescope could be hit. That dwarf. Vatterdorf. Teetotaler, no! <laughs> so we're testing out some of the dwarves just in vats their entire life. Oh no. We're high life. I wonder if he got that because he's the philosophy. I wonder if he wouldn't have gotten that to the front line with that one. Let's see the next one. A brawler. All right, front line child, there we go. Off with him. <laughs> He's not a true dwarf. Banish him. All my dwarves are alcoholic, but he is a teetotaler. Yeah. Is he going to die from the lack of the beer? Uh, He would. So we have to give him beer anyway. We have to force him to have beer. And that means he'll have like a minus 20 mood or whatever it is from having beer. So he's volunteered to be the front line. <laughs> he has a literal dependency on it. Yeah. I, I don't know. We'll see. It might be overridden by that gene. I'm not sure which one overrides what. We shall see. Can I check actually while he's in the vat? That gene doesn't become active until 13. So we'll see. It's not overwritten. You don't think so? Some of them do overwrite, but we'll know soon. Doesn't take long to get to 13 in the vat, so. I'm not going to make any more vat children until we get everyone converted as well. Because I'm sick of them turning out to not be true dwarfs. Actually, you know what? I don't want you guys going out there. That siege is eventually going to attack. So let's go back in, please. Growth moment for Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer's 10. Fast learner, great memory. See, this is why you treat your children well. Fast learner, great memory. This pawn will be able to be good at anything. Literally anything. Super good. All right. We're going to start having them head towards crafting. So we got passions better. You can't double up right here. I wish you could choose both. But yeah, that is a good point. We could do a single passion in a lot of things that double. Like we could actually just make them 
good at all these since they can get higher so quickly and everything. Like, we, we could do that. Yeah, double shooting is not necessary. No, I agree. I think we do it this way. <laughs> the universal man. All right. That works for me. And he's going to get another at 13, so... That's going to be a, a crazy pawn. Crazy pawn. A renaissance man. That was a good movie. When did that come out? Early 90s? Danny DeVito. I've never taught before, and you've never thought it was, before. It was Danny DeVito, right? It's been a long time since I saw Renaissance Man. Was he in that? <laughs> the six million dollar dwarf. You can make your own god pawns. Yeah, it's really crazy. Fast learner, great memory, passion, almost all skills. Yeah. So for anyone that doesn't know, great memory doesn't really kick in until 10 uh, skill level. Again, that'll be in the guide that Smurf and I are releasing. Uh, I'm looking forward to having that guide out. Smurf has done a lot of research and uh, what's cool about Smurf's research on the traits is the research has ended up coinciding with what my opinion on all the traits were for the most part. So it's it's nice to know that my, my feel for most of the traits has been pretty much accurate, uh, which I guess would make sense after playing the game for thousands of hours. But it is, uh, and again, from a more min-max, hard difficulty standpoint. Social fight. What's going on, hamsters? Rayman hurled invective about hamster's son's plant growing. What? Hamster is a six-year-old girl. She, she doesn't have a son? <laughs> Why is she getting mad? <laughs> Rainman is a 12-year-old boy. No, a 12-year-old girl that called hamsters, a six-year-old girl, uh, said, said something bad about her son. <laughs> she doesn't have a son? What a weird insult. She's like, I don't have a son. Yeah, but if you did, he'd suck. Playing Mate Believe and it got heated. <laughs> Might be right. A pet rock. She called it her son. They were playing house. <laughs> Our first ship. Combat ship. Oak lubricants. Oak lubricants. I'm no lubricant expert, but probably don't use sap. Pro probably don't use sap for lubricating anything. Probably. Anything I buy from them is going to fall outside right now. Kind of sucks because it might get stolen or might deteriorate. I'll, gra I'll grab the five components and hope that it doesn't get, it doesn't deteriorate in time. Crazy glue. Oh, God. Uh, so this is going to show up in the closest unroof tile. So unfortunately, that's right here. We could probably just run out and get it really quick. I think it'll be okay, though. You guys ever coming in? No? Okay. All right, here they come. These are really annoying raids. I need to get some face masks made, so at least we get some resistance to these. Look at all these children with chain shotguns. Just love to see it. They grow up so fast, though, guys. They grow up so fast. Hold on to your seven-year-olds with chain shotguns while you can. Soon they're going to be a 13-year-old with chain shotguns. Chain shotguns, beers, and mushrooms. That's how you grow some strong children. You can wear face masks and helmets at the same time. So that, that's why I specifically mentioned those. They're really cheap to make. They help with the, uh, the gas a little bit. And you can wear them with helmets. Oh, those freaking guys. Get out of there. Get out of that gas. the gas subside all right uh so if you look at these new masks uh these were added uh with biotech or 1.4 i'm not sure which one but there's the face mask right so the face mask um gives you 50 percent resistance to environmental uh things like so like the toxic gas um rot sink toxic fallout polluted terrain that kind of stuff and you can wear this this is a 
jaw slot item. So it goes on the jaw and you can still wear a helmet or, or a hat on top of it. So you can actually have the face mask and like a simple helmet at the same yeah, time. I, it's bio, yeah, biotech only, biotech only. So it's unfortunate that it's biotech only because rot stink is not biotech, which is annoying. So rot stink is 1.4, but the face mask is biotech. So that's kind of kind of annoying. It also gives a little bit of armor for the jaw, which isn't a lot, but with, uh, I think someone posted, I think it was Mage, with like a high quality Devil Strand one, it was actually a decent amount of sharp resistance for the jaw, which is nice. I really think they should add this to the base game since 1.4 added Rot Stink. So, all right, the Toxic Gas is gone. Rot Stink isn't actually that big of a deal though. Did you not see, you have to be living in it? That's not true. It, your melee blockers will get Rot Lung very quickly. In the last run that I did of Biotech, we had Scar... So the big thing is Scaria, too. We had a Scaria Manhunter. We killed all the Manhunters, and immediately the people in the front got uh, Rot Lung in both lungs almost instantly. The side of my screen was just filled with Rot Lung. Rot Lung isn't, like, super deadly as long as it's treated, but it still is annoying, and it can eat through your medicine and stuff. Uh, plus, they're going to be unhappy that they have it. It has its own problems, and it can eventually cause big problems, but... Um, things like melee blocking, and especially melee blocking against Scaria, that's the biggest one. So Scaria causing Rot Stink instantly is super friggin' annoying. Yeah, it stacks really fast with Scaria corpses because they rot instantly. You haven't had it happen. It definitely happened to us in the in the biotech. Maybe they've already hot fixed it to make it not as bad, but it was crazy. It was very very surprising to me. I was like, holy crap, because I started getting all these notifications that are like filled up the right side of my screen with rot lung, rot lung, rot lung. The bandolier. I like the bandolier. I think I'm going to use it uh, quite a bit. What's a bandolier? A bandolier is a new clothing item that reduces the reload time. Is it 20%? Reduces the reload time of your weapon by like 20%. So basically it makes your people shoot more often. So we really desperately need two advanced components. How long does this take? 2.7 days with no mount. Bolt goods! Hopefully it's an Outlander bolt goods. Nice. The world's now voice controlled. So that would suck. Uh, we could actually just buy one of these Campbells. Then I don't have to worry about going out and training something. There we go. All right, let's name our camel. All right, let's see what's next in the animal naming queue. Who named this husky kitten? It was Sip. Sip named this husky kitten. Husky kitten. The, mortar, the mortars aren't claimed at the moment, so it's not like they're deteriorating. I'll end up getting the barrels and stuff too. Husky kitten, the camel. Nice, excellent. All right, let's look at the bandolier really quick and then we'll, uh, we'll do this trip. Heavy bandolier. So the heavy bandolier takes 75 material. Uh, it is an outer layer item, outer layer, and minus 20% range cooldown multiplier. That's kind of crazy. So, your people that aren't going to get hit, it has like no protection, obviously. It's like a friggin' belt over you. But anyway, uh, your people that don't need extra pr protection, or like early game, or whatever, it's going to be pretty awesome. Husky Kitten isn't a terrible name for a camel. It's definitely memorable. Wear it while you're nude. All right, now let's check this. 1.4 days, okay. I feel like I'm still gonna take Soul Sapper because I feel like Soul Sapper could protect themselves. I really hate to, to bring them because they're our best crafter, but if Soul Sapper runs into a one-on-one -on -one raid, he's just gonna wreck it. So I feel pretty comfortable letting Soul Sapper go. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Soul Sapper. Uh, we'll have you take some extra raw fungus with you just in case. Extra raw. We're gonna need to make more beer. Finally starting to go through the beer pretty quickly. Uh, we'll take like a bit of the silver, a bit of the silver. All right, Soul Sapper, good luck. Good luck, please don't die. You're one of the original five He's one of the first five dwarves. He's one of the original. The five that escaped the calamity. 
Uh, as soon as this is done, I'm going to be so... Well, you know what? We already have the components done for it. So I can go ahead and spin those 19 without too much of a worry. So what I'm going to do... So we're going to go ahead and build this. Is there a way to manipulate where other factions wait and hang out? Not really. Not anymore. There used to be. There's a mod for it. If you want to get the mod, that's your best way. But uh, they did change... Uh, was that in 1.3? They typically seem to hang out near the most recent built like structure area, but it's not always, it's not, a, it doesn't seem like it's guaranteed. So as you can see, now that we've built this down here, and this is the most recent thing, they're coming and they're hanging out here. Before that, I had built this wall and they were hanging out here. So I guess that's as much as you can manipulate it, but if you want to make sure they go somewhere um, or claim, yeah, a player owned, I should say, player owned structure, but if you want to manipulate it exactly how you want them, a mod is your best, best one. Husky kitten. Has nothing on Dante the elephant. That's true. Dante is one of the best animal stories we have. Here we go. Oh, God. Soul Sapper, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. He's incapable of tending. Good shot, good shot. Get him again. Yes! No bleeds! Ha <laughs> Jerk. All right, let's get out of here. Ambush our caravan. I think that's the first successful ambush of the run, though. You lived. Let's hope we don't get hit again. <laughs> You're incapable of uh, caring. I forgot about that when I sent you. If you get a disease, it's gonna be bad. Brought a knife to a chain shotgun fight, that's right. That's true, we have the extra clotting. That's what happened there. Uh, I, I just realized when I saw the bandage, you saw me looking over the bandage, that's that's what was going on. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, why why aren't you bleeding actually? It's a cut, it's because we have clotting. So as long as you don't get a disease, you're gonna be all right. All right, we gotta get this done. Rhino, get that geothermal. Get that geothermal done. We got things to do. I think it's going to be all right. The The mortars are not going anywhere, and this is still at 66 out of 75. I think we I think we you can wait just a little bit. Or die, it's more important to get this up. Wrath thrombos. Hmm. hmm. Base, why do you connect them with walls instead of just roofing over wires? So there's a couple of reasons. Yeah, no worries. There's a couple of reasons. If you have a wire out like this, not only can like fire and stuff get to it, but enemies will just literally come lighted on fire. It's kind of like having crops outside. So if you don't have it covered by a wall, you'll just have raiders lighted on fire and cut out your power. So that's the big reason. A spectacle of ins 32 hives. What's the reward? We're a psychically deaf, so this doesn't matter at all. And that's a plasma sword, no thanks. I might actually have considered that if it was like a Zeus hammer. Well, you know you want that Eltex helmet. I think Eltex stuff from Quest is like way too common. I hate getting like this massive quest where it's like defeat two mech clusters of three times size and we'll give you an Eltex shirt and a staff. And it's like Eltex stuff is actually pretty good on like a, a dedicated kind of caster person, right? Like you want to cast a lot of berserks or, or berserk pulses or or whatever like it can be good but it's like it's so common that they're offered for quests it's like empire just overproduces ltex supplies they're just trying to get rid of them <laughs> i know it was a persona but i wouldn't take it anyway we can still look at it if you want but i'm not taking it fast mover fast mover is a good one why do all the children have blue hair i'll give you one hint claw is the father of all dwarves <laughs> All right, advanced components. We need... We'll take all four, actually. We need a... Oh, detoxifier lung. Maybe we won't take all... I'll have to come back, I guess. Maybe. Maybe we just take two for now. Detoxifier lung. Or... Do we need a kidney still? No, I'm going to take the advanced components. We, we'll, we'll come back. All right, Soul Sapper. Come on home. Starting to... 
Run because of me. Thanks a lot, jerk. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Well, the second generation doors be all inbred. No, because I'm going to have them mate with a base liner. Come on, Soul Sapper, get back. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you, Soul Sapper. I think Cassandra's still on cooldown, so I'm going to go ahead and grab just these. So what I'm going to do... What else down here? We got... Three barrels. This packs of our meals. Okay. So I'm going to grab Caravan here. And I'm going to... Who am I actually going to have go do this? Uh, Lilith, maybe? Yeah. So we're going to turn off travel supplies. We're going to grab... Screw it. We'll just select everyone. And then we will grab a barrel. I have to select all of them, unfortunately. There we go. Hit send. I'm going to grab everyone other than Lilith. I would much rather have an infestation than like a, a big explosive breacher or a big explosive pirate raid or a big mech raid. Yeah, for sure. All right. So she's coming down here. She's grabbing all the barrels dude, in one trip. There we go. Rain Man has become an adult. All right, Rain Man. That's our first dwarf that we have raised all the way from childhood, from birth to full adults. We got our first homegrown dwarf. Is there a reason I haul stuff like that? It's so that she can carry more than what her weight is. So you see how she would not be able to carry all that weight without doing the caravan trick. So that, that's why. So now she's carrying like everything down there in one trip. So now she carries it home because she has the weight capacity of the entire colony. She could literally carry like a thousand kilos of weight. She brings it home. I cancel forming the caravan and just drop all the stuff that we brought home. Otherwise, she'd be carrying like two or three barrels at a time or something. Instead, she car carried everything down there. Yeah, it's a caravan cheese. Yeah, so basically, if you form a caravan and then you take everyone out of it aside from one person, they'll be able to carry the weight on your current map of of the entire original weight that you put in there. That's how you do it without pickup and haul. It's beyond pickup and haul. You can literally have one person carry like over a hundred chunks. So yeah, it's beyond pickup and haul because you can you can have a single person. We we've done it like if you watch my cheese run over on YouTube. We had like a single person carry like a hundred stone chunks on their own in one trip, one trip. All right, Rain Man, let's see what you get as your adult stuff. Tough bloodlust. Wow, look at this. Oh my God, this is a lot of good stuff. We could get steadfast, so less breakdowns. Quick sleeper, so he just gets more done. Great memory, so skills above level 10 basically will never fall. He's probably going to be one of our blockers at some point. So him being a melee blocker, I'm actually thinking about taking Steadfast. So he's mainly going to be planting. We don't really need great memory for him to stay good at planting, honestly. So I don't really need that. Kind is always good. Kind Bloodlust is actually a really good combination. But I'm thinking about Steadfast if he's going to be holding the line a bit. Which one helps us in a raid situation the most? Steadfast. All right, we'll do that. He's going to be doing a lot of planting. The planting, mining. Uh, what is he cooking at? Three? We could get him better at that. Especially when we're doing a lot of drugs later on. Okay, I think that's good. All right, Rain Man is an adult. All right, Rain Man, congratulations. Full-fledged adult. Look at that. We'll keep him shooting for now, but he is tough, so... He very well might end up being one of our... We need a four to six melee blockers. Who were his parents? Uh, let's see. Uh, Claw was his father, of course. Soul Sapper was the mother. Soul Sapper on their way back. So you're the mother, Soul Sapper. Your first daughter has reached adulthood. Trade caravan animals get trapped because they need to dig themselves out. Whole caravan turns around and leaves. You need an you need a pathing into the area, Zonic, that is not barricades. So the reason that's happening is at the end of the singularity box, you have something like this, right? 
but barricades stop most animals or a lot of animals they stop farm animals so what happens is like the muffalo which are pack animals are actually stopped by fences oh the power just went out did my uninterruptible power supply work it did the stream continues god i'm so glad i bought that anyway it's storming outside um uh, so that's what's happening your the mufflos of the traders are trying to get in but they can't pass the barricade and so they need a different way in or out so that that's that's the most common cause of it that might be what's happening for you that's like the best investment I've, I've had um a couple months ago we were having one of the best biggest streams i'd ever had and my power went out for like one minute and when i got back on even after a little bit of time we had like 10 percent of the viewer count that we had before and then the power did it again i was like, all right well i'm done uh, the one that I have right now is about an hour of power to my streaming setup, which if we have power outage for more than an hour, something is, is seriously wrong and I would be getting off the stream anyway, but it allows me to end the stream normally rather than just suddenly gone. How do I still have internet if power went out? Because the internet is also on the uninterruptible power supply. I don't remember the last time you lost power. It's only like a split second, but we do live in like tornado country and you know, there's always people running into power line power poles and stuff all right this is such a huge milestone for tribal it's kind of ridiculous we are now at the point where we can make our own components as tribal excellent excellent skeeter it's kind of get converted little kid oh skeeter wow the younger the kid the more easily they are to we'll call it influence influence all right. Uh, you know what? We haven't done one of these fairs in a while. Let's go ahead and do one. Get some mood. What's the best nutrition source? Do you mean for the vets? It seems like for the vets, you, will join us you want die, prepared master. things. So like nutrient paste meals and uh, baby food. So those all seem way better and more efficient to throw in there. I bet pemmican would be pretty good. I haven't tried it though. But it seems like you don't want to use raw food if you can you want you want to throw process stuff i like that you can throw hay in there <laughs> i wonder how wonder how efficient that would be to just feed them hay how important is sight when it comes to shooting accuracy sight not darkness so you can always go in here if you want new subscriber. and you can look at what all is impa yourself. impacting it so sight is actually pretty important and it's 12 it has 12 times impact but there's also a really important thing here about accuracy some things have a different cap so actually increasing sight with things like Arco Tech Eyes are going, is going to continue to increase your shooting uh, accuracy. It's also important though to note that without a mod, shooting caps out at 100%. So at a certain level, depending on your setup and what gun you're using and if there's cover or whatnot, is going to maybe not matter. That's why I like sometimes to do like one bionic eye on everyone and not worry about the second one because in a kill box setup with the right gun, the right quality, and enough enough sight you're going to basically have your accuracy capped for that setup anyway uh, but yeah you can always go in here and just and just look but sight is very important for shooting accuracy not darkness but just actual sight nutrient paste meals are 300 percent efficiency overall right now baby's 200 percent simple 180 kibble's 125 so nutrient paste is the absolute best thing to give to the baby uh vats that's good to know gonna call yeah it's gonna cost you extra if you're not already making paste for your people but that's interesting i'm using baby food right now so that's good to know that baby food is 200 what is your favorite memes for playing so if i'm doing min max stuff human primacy for the production specialist supremacy so i don't have to worry about corpses we can have cannibalism and shooting specialist after that it depends on the playthrough itself but those are the two like top tier memes have really no big no downside really so past that it depends on the playthrough i really like tunnler tunnler is one of my favorites how does blind sight affect psychic stuff so there's a couple things there with blind sight so blind sight do get a bonus to psy casting but there's another thing you can kind of exploit if you want with blind sight and psy casting so with blind sight when you blind them they uh, can get a level or they can get a psy cast they can level up in psy casting when you blind them and so what you can do is you can actually give someone bionic eyes and then you can blind them repeatedly to get them capped out. So unless they fix that, you can literally give someone bionic eyes, blind them, they'll get a side cast, reinstall bionic eyes, blind them. It's very expensive, but 
that's uh that's another bonus of blind sight when it comes to um when it comes to side casting the vat dwarf is 13.